Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to Combat Ready HQ and our latest video, part two of episode two, Serious Patrol in the unknown land. These are the Danish elite operating in Greenland in some of the harshest conditions. As always, check out the original video in the description. Give us a follow on Instagram. Check out our website for some of our coffee blends. We've got four coffee blends, Combat Ready, In The Shadows, Covert Ops, and some Op Decaf if you don't want the caffeine. Check out some of our Tactical Warrior apparel as well, but let's get into the video. And as always, please comment with what your thoughts are and what you want to see next. Det är lite som att få vägen flesta tog. Ah, så det är en sår I'm not surprised about like, all the running and walking they do. Like pulling that sled, it's got to be tough for them. I dag ska vi in i Ukenland for anden gang. Men først skal vi igennem et langt flat stykke, ligesom når til opstigningen. Horse down. Push to over the Oh, what are they? Yeah, I'm guessing if they obviously get scared, they could possibly attack. Even though it's freezing cold, you're still working on it. Your body's trying to keep you warm. You want to make sure you stay hydrated. Opkørsel er noget af det hårdeste for hundene, så vi nogle gange bliver nødt til at gå op foran for at motivere dem. Yeah, it's got to be tough. I wonder how much that sled weighs. You know, they've got a real decent tent there. You've got your sleeping bags. I don't know if they still have the reindeer skin like they said they had in the 70s. Um, all the warm kit, spare kit, water, foods, plus the sled alone. Then you've got the guys obviously holding on and getting pulled along. So it's definitely got to be hard work for the dogs. I think, what is it, 14 dogs I think I counted? Maybe need to recount, but it's still got to be tough pulling that up a, a, a ascent. Especially in snow, like look at it. Really get worked, these dogs. <laughs> He's got some lactic acid in his legs, I'm not surprised. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
vigtigt, at vi virkelig skal være klar med bremsetogene, så vi ikke mister styringen på stedet. Ja, yeah. because the sled could just run away, and if you don't get that braking rope on, if you fall over or don't catch up, the dogs, that sled's going to go back into the back of the dogs, and they're just going to keep going. Hard work this, hard work. Yeah, now they've got to try and lift it up. Think how heavy that is, like I said earlier. Snaps it. It's where they hold on exactly as well. Vi prøver bare at stille olden nedad. Så må vi se hvor langt vi kan klare den på det. Do they have a sled repair kit? Hvis vi bare kæmper lidt imod, hvad hvad hundene gerne vil trække den i. What I love is just the control these guys have over those dogs and the experience. You really can see it, especially with the older man. Um, he really knows what he's doing. The younger man's sort of just, you know, really good guy, listening to what the older man says, does what he says. There's no arguing. He's the older guy. He's the younger man. Very professional. And you can see the older guys have got experience. Even though they're in unknown land, he's remaining calm uh, and he's doing what's needed to be done. Um, and the dogs, he's controlling them very well. Two right. Yeah, there you go. Good bit of repair stuff. Once again, to be able to sleep there, wake up there, it's just an unreal experience. Vi har slået lejre her. Vi starter med opkørselen øh, til den nye øh, landopkørsel i morgen. Og hvad, hvad vi kan se herfra, så, så ser det første øh, stykke ud til at være meget fint. Men øh, kører vi lidt videre op, så ser vi godt, at det er noget, der bliver lidt spændende. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. Look at his feet. I thought we all here on one of us condition. But we were just four men that could stood in and so cried for the the mere some of the for the rest of the Ja, de kæmpede lige som jeg gjorde, og hvis jeg var alene, så var jeg på et tidspunkt færdig i søvn, så ville jeg ikke være vågnet igen. Jeg tror, vi overlevede fordi, for det første, fordi vi ville. Og for det andet, fordi at... 
Ja, vi, vi var ikke parat til at forlade denne verden. Men vi er også øh, stege, stege mennesker. De mål, vi skal nå, de, de skal vi nå. Så psykisk stærke folk. Men vi fandt aldrig livet. Og vi gjorde et forsøg senere hen. Lidt senere på våren i juni. Og vi fandt ikke noget. Kan vi ikke på det? Og som sagt, jeg synes det bedste, det var, at vi stadigvæk er gode venner, alle fire. Some of the most mentally strong people you've ever met to be able to survive that and then get on with your life. Nu vinder der jo et stræk, som, øh, som ingen ved, hvad, hvad indebærer. Så det var så godt. Det er, hvad er disse bottles? Fordi jeg ville vide, at... Disse bottles her, hvad er de? Fordi jeg var vildt, hvordan kan du bruge så meget so for så so meget tid? Nu vinder der jo et stræk, som, øh, som ingen ved, hvad... Is that their, that's not their drinking bottles, that is the gas bottles they've been using, isn't it? Um, and I wonder how they work, how much fuel like do they carry um, to be able to survive for such a long time? Just really interesting because I've never done it. There is always a kind of form of press for that you have to follow the time plan. There is not much more than a bad weather or a bad weather before you get set forward. Nu venter Oxidal, den sidste af de ukendte landoverførsler. GPS'en viser flere mulige veje ind i dalen og op til vandskillet. Vi har mødt et vandfald på vej op mod vandskillet. Oh, it's a glass. It goes right down to the back side. It goes not, Mikkel. We will not go to turn around. We will not drive it just to drive it. You don't want to be at any risk at all when you're so far away, 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 away from everything on your own. So there is actually maybe a smooth way in. Det er omme bag det der øh, fjeld her. Så jeg smutter lige der og kigger. Gode og dårlige nyheder. <coughs> Gode og dårlige nyheder. Jeg tror faktisk godt, man kan, passere, man kan passere det her. Tror du det? Jeg ved, jeg ved jo ikke, hvad der venter lige deromme. Nej. Men jeg kan se en vej op derovre. Ja. Jeg kan se længere op end hertil. Ja. Øh, men det er fordi, der er to veje ind i Oxidal. Og vi har taget, så taget den forkerte. Men så skal vi cirka en kilometer ud her. Herover til. Hvor der ligesom går en vej ind. Så prøver at følge anden, anden del af. Nej, prøver at følge rundt om toppen der. Ja, lige præcis. Den der vej ind. Og der, der går ligesom, det er det ene faktisk i det løg. Så der, der, er, der går en passage igennem der. Ja. Ja, det lyder super. 
This is where you need to be all over your navigation, understanding the ground, understanding what it looks like on a map and a GPS. Vi har kørt i lang tid allerede, så vi er nødt til at tage hul på etappen i i morgen. Der kan jeg skrive til Det er mega fedt at se, at Mikkel han er så løsningsorienteret, og han og nægter at tage sig til takke med, at, at det ikke kan lade sig gøre. Obviously enough for tough ascent for the dogs. <laughs> You've got to think as well, in that cold, your lungs are just burning even more, your nostrils, your mouth, like it, oh, it just really eats into you. You know, you're already tired as it is, you're trying to keep warm. Um, you're sledding all day and then you've got to help push that up a hill and it's just hard to breathe in such cold conditions. And then you're carrying all the kit and the layers as well. I dag der skal vi tage hul på, på det stykke, som er forventeligt rimelig ufremkommeligt, men Mikkel han mener, der, der er en vej. Så den, øh, den chance, den bliver vi nødt til at tage. Sådan, kom ude. Du var ude. Fuller! 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 That rope works really well, doesn't it? <coughs> Så er det den farlige del, der kommer nu. Det er stejl og sådan noget. Åh, vel da. Min umiddelbare tanke var faktisk, at bære tingene ned, og så holder vi den ligesom tilbage ja. i slævetår, mens vi får den ned på den anden side, ja. og så bare bremstår på. Ja. Det var min umiddelbare tanke i hvert fald. Ja, lad os prøve. Lad os prøve. Vi skal nok, vi skal nok gøre noget. Der er lov at være kommet ind her. Det er bare om det bliver et stykke. Ja, men det er jo så det. Ja. Altså, det er jo, det er jo ikke øh, optimalt. Normalt vil man bare gerne øh, sure den om morgenen, og så bare køre, køre i 6 timer på lækkert føre og glade hunden. Men øh, nu bærer vi øh, en masse ting ned. Det, øh, det tager vi med. Det tager vi med lige her. The levels of fitness these guys need to have to be able to do this day in, day out for months on end. Living off the rations, oh, in, in the cold weather conditions, like these guys are physically and mentally robust. And then they're having to come up with situations like this and complete them. Oh no, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Look how thick that snow is. That's hard work. Oh, here comes the tricky part now. <laughs> 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 
might as well have some fun while you're doing it. Yeah, as yeah. long as it ain't gonna hurt you. Shit, man. Yeah, have fun with it. Teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Nu har vi taget tre anafkørsler og faktisk åbnet dem til resten af patruljen, og det er jeg rigtig stolt af. Man kan køre alle steder med hundeskade, som er alle steder nok. Men det er ikke alle steder, hvor det giver mening. Nogle steder de er så uformkommelige, blandt andet Oksedal. Men det er simpelthen for svært og risikabelt til, at vi vil anbefale andre slædeholder at køre den. Åh oh, nej! Det er fandme dumt køret. Der er to sekumore. Oberst! Jimmy! Vi er på vej til Skotspisund. I er jo dumme. Hvad skal man den op der af? Det gider ikke lige lægge for en revn. Vi mistede det værste, der kan miste. Vores hund. Another cracking part to the episode. One episode to go now. We'll break it down into three parts as we have been doing. Hopefully you're seriously enjoying this. I am. And hopefully you're taking motivation from the professionalism and the mental resilience and the physical robustness of these guys. That things are possible if you really want to do it. And you can survive some of the harshest and hardest conditions that earth and the world can throw at you. If you really put your mind to it. And that this guy, this is out there for you Danish lot. If you want to do something totally amazing, tough, and experience some of the most amazing things in the world, then check out the Serious Patrol. This is unreal. Moving on to part uh, episode three next.